Okay, so in this demonstration, what we're going to show you is how a DBA can use Oracle Enterprise Manager 13C to interact with autonomous databases as part of their standard database management best practices. Our goal is to ensure that you can leverage the same skill set, the same best practices, the same intellectual property, the same policies and procedures against autonomous targets as you would leverage against more traditional database targets. So I'm going to go ahead and log in to Enterprise Manager. And when I log into Enterprise Manager, I will land at the database homepage, which if you're a DBA is normally where you uh, start uh, your day in Enterprise Manager. Obviously, Enterprise Manager has a lot of different uh, pages that can be set as their homepage, but uh, if I'm managing uh, tens or hundreds or thousands of databases, I tend to use the, the target uh, homepage for databases as my homepage. So here I am. I've got a small fleet in this demo example. I've got uh, a traditional uh, rack database here, database 12, and then I also have uh, some autonomous transaction processing databases. I'm going to go ahead and drill into one of those, this one here called ATP Sales Prod. And uh, when I do that, I get to the home page for that particular database target. Looks very similar to the same home page that you would use for any other database um, in your uh, traditional data center environment. You can see we've got all of our standard telemetry available interactively for you to work with. We can see we've got SQL monitoring down below. Our real-time monitoring allows us to see what's going on um, at any moment in that database. And of course, up top, we've got um, all of our uh, telemetry showing us database weights as well as user IO, uh, CPU utilization, etc. I also have the ability to drill into the resource utilization for this database. So you can see here CPU, active sessions, memory, uh, data storage, etc. Now, if I was a DBA troubleshooting a problem, a performance problem with an application that's using this particular database, what I would do is I would drill into our performance hub. Performance Hub was introduced a couple releases ago in Enterprise Manager and represents the unification of all of our telemetry. Um, so that includes ASH, it includes uh, AWR, as well as sort of other telemetry that's relevant. So just like normal, I would log into this database. Uh, all of my Enterprise Manager stored credentials and uh, all of the best practices that I use for segregation of duties, etc., are available as part of managing autonomous targets. So here I'm in the Performance Hub. Uh, PerfHub, uh, for short, is where we unify all this deep database telemetry that we have available to us in one place. Now, what I can do here is I can see I've got various weight information that's going to show us what's going on in this particular database. If I look over here, I've got uh, a bunch of activity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the slider over, and when I do that, um, I can see that uh, now I've got a bit more details looking at um, traditional uh, database time or DB time uh, measurements for particular activities in the database uh, separated out by weight class. Now, we have weights due to CPU and I.O., and that's all fine, but what we are interested in understanding are these red ones, which are the application uh, weights. So this is a set of weights that are being introduced by application logic inside our database. That's something that we can debug and uh, troubleshoot and make better. So I'm going to go ahead and drill into these application weights. When I do that, I can start to see that we have row lock contention here. So this is ultimately causing uh, delays in our database processing. And this is something that was introduced by uh, probably a database developer or an application developer into our autonomous database environment. We want to figure out what this is so we can tune it out. Um, now, the way I would do this is first I would want to understand what is sending these particular workloads that are causing this row lock contention. So I would drill into the module. And, uh, and when I look at uh, which module is ultimately causing this problem. I can see in this particular case it's a SQL developer module. So what that means is that uh, an application developer or an apps DBA has uh, been using SQL developer, introduced some SQL into our uh, ATP environment, and that uh, SQL is causing uh, a, uh, a row lock contention. Um, now, what I would do at this point is drill down and see what is the SQL that's causing this problem. Again, you have all of this standard troubleshooting and debugging capability available to you for these autonomous targets. And if I drill in to this SQL ID here, I can see exactly what it is. It's a particular update. And if I click on it, ultimately what I'll be able to do is get into the detail of the SQL that it, I'm interested in debugging. So here I can see what the uh, text of the SQL is. So I could very quickly, if I didn't know what that was, uh, take a look at that. I can also see all the detailed telemetry that comes out specifically for the SQL monitoring um, of this particular item. Ultimately, I can do things like see the uh, 
execution plan for that SQL as well. So ultimately, I can take a look and see if there are changes, plan changes that we can make to uh, allow us to have this stuff execute more quickly. So again, this SQL was not introduced by me. It was introduced by a developer. Um, and, uh, but I have the ability to see it, understand its impact on my overall autonomous database target and take action accordingly. Uh, I also would have the ability to benefit from advisors. So Enterprise Manager has a wide variety of advisors built into it. These are uh, things like our SQL tuning advisor, things like uh, database replay, things like um, uh, consolidation workbench, as well as our uh, link back up to my Oracle support. So you can take advantage of all of these capabilities, all of the built-in intellectual property of Enterprise Manager against your autonomous targets. Just for example purposes, I'll go look at a SQL tuning advisor that I ran a little bit earlier. But I can see that the SQL tuning advisor takes a look at the SQL inside the autonomous database platform. It makes recommendations about what I can do to tune that SQL. Those recommendations could be plan changes. Those recommendations um, could be uh, changes to the SQL itself. Um, there are a variety of things that we can do uh, using SQL Tuning Advisor. So you can take advantage of all of the capabilities of your Enterprise Manager environment, that all of your traditional DBA troubleshooting and uh, diagnostic best practices techniques against things running in the autonomous transaction processing platform, just as you would against a traditional database. So as you can see, ultimately, as a DBA, you're going to be able to use all of these techniques um, much as you would without any meaningful difference. So with that, I will head back to the database homepage and we'll conclude the demonstration and return back to the presentation.